out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to another episode of Greg's Mowers and More. Sorry it's been a while since I've been out. Been having some little health problems and uh, the weather's kind of kept me down for a while. As you can see, we got some snow. About half of it's melted already. But uh, we had some significant snow, some cold temperatures, some crazy winds, some ice. And uh, it's been hard to get outside. Today is actually about 40 degrees out. So it's not too cold, and uh, we're gonna mess with this thing. This is a Toro 421 snowblower. It's got a Tecumseh on it, which you know Tecumsehs aren't my favorite, but this one here I'm hoping it's gonna be a good one. Even though I've kind of left it neglected back here underneath all these trees, and the exhaust has been open on it, you know, it's been sitting outside in the rain and the wind and the storms for probably over a year now. Um, we're gonna see if we can't fire this old Tecumseh back up. I got some tools out here. I got me a little stool to sit on so I'm not hunkered down in the snow, at least not yet. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and dive into this thing and see if we can't get her going today. Let me go grab you guys and uh, bring you in a little closer so you can have a good look at it. So like I said, it's a 421 Toro. It's got a pretty nice auger in there. It's not all bent up and beats snot. And shaft doesn't look like it's leaking box ain't all rotted out the other auger blades down in there look pretty good it's got some nice solid tires on it um, you know it's all linkages no cables and then uh we got an old tecumseh so let me set you guys up and then i'll get into checking oil and things on it all right so that other snowbl snowblower we had had a big dipstick tube on it this one does not Oh man, I might need a pair of pliers to get that thing out. Let's see what we got in here for oil and see if it's full of fuel or not. Oh geez, I just want to kind of spin off and break open there, don't it? There you did. It's acting like it's froze in there. <sighs> oh, there it goes. Okay, finally got the brake loose. Knocked that little chunk of bird poop out of there. got oil in there nice and clean doesn't smell like gas or anything that's good that's a good sign i thought it might be, be full of water sitting out here all right okay man it's slick back here now what do we got in the fuel tank Mm, there's some stuff floating around in there. Can't quite reach it with my finger. Uh, smells like gasoline. I don't know. Is it gonna shut off on it? Yeah, it does have a shut off on it, doesn't it? It was open though. All right. Does it pull over? It does pull over. Okay. All right. Good sign. Next thing is, is do we have any kind of spark? Well, these little limbs are gonna get on my nerves. Oh, 
Bug doesn't look too awful bad. You can see valves working. Let's see if we got any kind of spark here or not. Oh yeah, we got a spark. All right. Let's try giving her a little shot of card cleaner down the cylinder hole here. Seems like it's pretty free in there. Doesn't seem like it even really needs lubed. Which is good because I ain't got any right now. Alright. Hands aren't working the greatest in this cold. Give it a little bit of that. Throw her plug back in. Give her a few pulls. See what she's gonna do. Maybe, just maybe, it'll make some noise. Chokes out. Idles on fast. Oh, we got smoke. Oh, we got. All right, she lit off. And then we're going to have an engine that's going to run. Throw a little bit of fuel in the tank. See what we can get out of that. Boy, these tree legs are just, just a bear. Ooh, we woke up Fraggle Rock. Look up the old rooster over there. Alright. Got some fuel in the tank now. Can't remember if I left that shut off on or off. Shut off's all the way out. Alright. Well, let's try that again. Hit the primer a few times. I know, Fraggle, I hear you. I hear you there, Fraggle. Oh, we got nothing on the nothing on the plug. Maybe the carburetor's plugged up on it. See we got some stuff gripping. So fuel's obviously getting to the carburetor. Start die. Okay. So I'm guessing we got a carburetor issue here. She doesn't seem to be wanting to. Oh yeah, we're blowing fuel out everywhere here. Uh, this here carburetor. Okay. So we're getting fuel to the carburetor, but it's not sucking it up into the engine. Shut this fuel off a little bit. Oh. At least it comes as they build a dang shield around here. Makes it kind of hard to get at. But I can get the bowl off from right here. So we probably got a bad bowl gasket. That or it's just not tight, I don't know. I'm gonna to try to tip this thing a little bit. Okay. And you can tip it because you always tip the carburetor side up. Just gotta be careful not tip it too far. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's a nut here on the bottom of this fuel bowl. 
figure out what size socket that is. 7 16 looks like it's fitting right on there. So we're going to try to pull that bowl off. And it was pretty darn loose. Pretty darn loose. that and got all kinds of nice water and sediment ice in the bowl yeah some nice sludginess that's not gonna work out real good is it clean that out Tip it back up and have another look see here. Spray all that out. for going up the center jet of the carburetor there. See if we can't get through that and blow some car cleaner up through there. Just maybe we'll get this thing to run. Just maybe. Luckily it's kind of a smaller one so it's kind of light. I could see there we go there we got up through there all right let's hit her with a little carb cleaner while I'm getting poked in the face by all these branches That's not good. Hang on, we got problems. Our needle valve fell out. Good thing I saw that. All right, I'm gonna have to try to finagle that back in somehow. I may have to lay this thing all the way over on the side. I really don't want to do that. I think I'm gonna have to. Sticks are just a pain. I wish you guys could be in here, but I really can't get you in here any better, I don't think. It really doesn't look too bad in here. If I didn't let this thing sit outside, it probably wouldn't have been this bad. Shoot. Okay. I just dropped that where I didn't want it to go. Oh, these dang sticks are kidding me. <sighs> Let me go get my pliers.
Okay. Let me see if I can't fish that out of there. Spray some carb cleaner up that part too while I'm at it. Just to be sure. Give it as good a chance as I can give it. Got the needle valve back in, hung up on the float. Okay. Well, these Tecumsehs, they got a split bowl here. There's still more crap in here I need to get out. Anyway, there's a difference in these bowls. To go down, it has to be, or the bowl that goes down has to be on this side. This goes back towards where you're um, rod goes to hold your float up. down a little bit not too much but a little more than it was maybe we'll get that bowl gasket to seal again all right okay let's go ahead and tip it back up any fuel in the process. No, we got plenty of fuel. All right. Let's see if I got any oil up at the top and it's gonna pull hard. No, it seems okay. Turn our fuel back on. All right. Not seeing any leaks quite yet. There, we got some drips coming out of the carburetor. Okay, let's see if we got any fuel flow through now. Here goes nothing. Sticks are driving me nuts, man. I'm gonna have to do something about them. Bet we're flooded now. Seven sixteenths ain't gonna take the plug out, is it? It acted like it wanted to run there for a second, didn't it? Huh. 
We're just pouring fuel out. No, I don't have a bowl gasket for this. Drawing for a second and dying. Definitely that carburetor giving us a fit. And I do not have parts for that carburetor. So that kind of leaves me at a standstill here. We have a better look here, maybe. Maybe I'm missing a couple Yeah, it's just blowing it right out the side of the bowl. Yep, it's going to need everything. It's going to need gas, it's a kit. That's disappointing. All right. Bummer. Well, shoot. Well, this is where I wish I had some more Tecumseh parts engines laying around, so I just had another carburetor, maybe some gaskets, but I don't. So unfortunately, guys, I think that's uh, about where I'm gonna have to leave this video off at. I can't really do much more with it right now. Would at least like to be able to see it move the auger and stuff. But I don't think that's going to happen either. 
So this is gonna be a pretty disappointing first video back. But I guess it's better than nothing. At least I'm out here trying. I am sorry to disappoint you guys. I'm a little disappointed myself. I really wanted to use this thing. Um, well, shoot. Anyways, as much as I hate to shut the video off here and admit defeat, that's about all I can do. Don't really have the money to order the parts for it right now. Got a lot of other things more important going on. Sorry to say. I will come back to this one though. It's, it's going to be a good one once I get a carburetor on it and get it running. I can tell that much. It's worth putting the time into. Anyway, like I said, I'm sorry it's been a minute since I've been here giving you guys any kind of content at all. Really, I'm sorry for that. I've uh, been dealing with some health issues and uh, some family issues, and you guys know how life goes. Been kind of down the dumps. I think I've had a little bit of depression going on. I know I'm also having some uh, deficiencies in some areas with some vitamins and minerals and things like that. I'm trying to get worked out. Just don't have much energy, don't have much drive right now. I'll get that lined out and get back to you. I'd appreciate it if you guys would pray for me. Just like I pray for you guys. Um, you know, Jesus is your Lord and Savior, my Lord and Savior on days when I'm good and I'm not good. I need him more on the days I'm not good. I don't know about you. But here lately, I really do need him a lot. And uh, I'm sure as I get older, that'll be more and more the case. So appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and go to the wins and the losses with me. So, have a great day. God bless you.